so our Buick LaCrosse 2009 started to shake and check engine light came on and uh, and and the engine will go off so I decided to really learn what's going on and I found out that it could be ignition control module or ignition coil so in this video I'm talking about the GM 3800 engines which is very popular with a lot of other cars and this engine is in a lot of cars so I decided to just replace uh, the ignition control module now what I'm doing right now you can also uh, uh, change the ignition coils uh, the ignition coils are one or three of them on the left so before I change the ignition control module I decided to put uh, tapes on the coils and uh, number them and now this one is a wire so that goes to the to the spark plugs so I decided to put them as A and, uh, ma and the coils I put A, B, C and the wires I put A, B, C, D and all the stuff so I know exactly which one is first because if you don't do that you can put numbers you can uh, write on them with something that you know is not gonna come off but I decided to use a tape so this way when I replace uh, the ignition control module I know where to put it back uh, what I also learned you can put gloves on and if you you know what I mean I, I'm just suggesting to put gloves on so uh, the first thing is 5.5 uh, millimeter to remove uh, the coils the three coils of course you did see me that I disconnected the battery I took the negative off but you have to be careful with this thing and now uh, it's very easy I'm not a mechanic I just watched a couple of YouTube and all the stuff and I saved myself a lot of money so what I just did I took the coils off and I had everything numbered I put the coils up there with the order that I took them off what I also learned that actually I could have actually called the junkyard and I have gotten control uh, ignition control module and coils all three of them all three coils with a control module all of them for only 35 to 40 dollars uh, they have them and they are on all kind of cars so you can just take that and replace all, th all uh, three coils and the module and done that will actually answer your question if that's your problem uh, so I'm, right now I'm just going fast forward of uh, taking uh, the coils off and like I told you guys that I'm really not a mechanic but I did this and this one comes off and with this one here I ordered the part actually from Amazon to replace uh, the ignition control module I got that from Amazon and I replaced it and that's the new one on the right and the old one on the left and you see there is also you did you see the screw that's where the wires gets uh, you know attached to that there is a screw to hold the wires there you really can't tell if there is something wrong with it but uh, but uh, actually it was so I put this one here you see I put the wires and the screw actually this time I'm doing backward that's how you can actually take them off too and then I just tighten the the bolt it's very easy it's really you don't need a mechanic you don't need anything and if that's the only thing that will solve your problem then you saved yourself a lot of money like I told you you can just get get this uh, whole thing the coils and module from the junkyard and replace it then you 
you know exactly what you did but in this case here which i don't have in this video i did replace the spark plugs and the wires just just to be you know just to, just just because it does it didn't need uh, a whole uh, you know tune up i wanted to do the whole tune up on this one here And these bolts that are an uh, ignition coil, they actually hold the module down. So there are six screws. Every coil that I'm putting right now, it does have two, two bolts. So there are six of them right there. And I'm tightening them. I'm not tightening them too much, just, just enough to hold them down. So I do have the uh, coils back, a new ignition control module there. Now I go back to my wires and I start from the first one on the top, which I have them as A, B, C, D, and all the way. So now this one is A, and I'm putting the A back, and then B next. Now before you put them back, you might want to take those tapes off. But I didn't take them off right away because I'm like, oh, maybe I might have to take it off again. I don't know why. But I'm putting the battery back. Everything seems to be really looking good. Tighten the whole battery down. And make sure you tighten that. And uh, it is very easy. Don't be afraid. I'm not a mechanic. And I did it. I started the car. All of the check engine lights went off. The car is running good. It's not misfiring. And life is good, my friends. It's simple. Look at the engine. Look at this. If yours looks like exactly the same at 3800 here, 3800 module series, and then you really saved yourself a lot of money. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Hopefully this video was really helpful to you and thank you guys.